Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leia and this is Budget with Leia. Today we're going to be doing my first cash unstuffing for the month of December, so week one. Um, so I was planning, so before I start, I was planning to do a Happy Mail video before this um, and show you all the nail polish that I did get because I wanted to do a whole nail polish video. But I think I'm going to push that for after this video, so you'll get that after. Um, because I did get more Happy Mail since, so I filmed the video. And then, like, the next day I got more Happy Mail, and I was like, you know what, let me just do one big video of just Happy Mail. So, um, once you see that video, it's going to be probably cut. So, it, I'm going to be wearing nail polish in parts of that video. I'm going to be wearing my old nail polish, and then parts of that new video. New, <laughs> new video I'm gonna be probably this or I haven't finished my other hand so this is why it's off right now but um yeah so <laughs> just just in case you any of you guys were uh, looking forward to the nail polish video the nail polish happy mail video um it's just being postponed till after this video um so but again sneak peek pretty much um anyway so let's get into my calendar and see how much we spent this week and I will say we spent a lot of money I say we I said me and I so let's see uh, week one for me starts on the 30th of November so that because that's when I get paid and it goes all the way to the 7th of December so let's start off so I bought um, a binder off of Cardinal planners so I love it I wasn't gonna buy anything for the longest time I've seen uh, the shop for a long long time uh, and I was following them and I would see their um, all the different designs that they had and I was just you know I, I was trying to convince myself that I didn't need it and I don't but I really wanted it and because I had the extra money in my spending envelope I went ahead and got it um, and they just arrived um, so that's I'm gonna do a happy meal video about that so that's part of it uh, and then the Moterm, which is the giveaway prize, if you, it should be, actually the giveaway is closed by now. So by the time you see this video, it's it's been closed for like a day. Um, but this is one of the giveaway prizes, um, which if you are paying attention, I'm going to be announcing the, the giveaway winners at the end of the video. So just, you know, just keep a lookout. Uh, so that was forty nine seventy eight, And then I went to a restaurant with my family. So this expense technically happened on Tuesday, the day before, but we went there in the evening so it didn't actually hit my my card because I paid it with my credit card until Wednesday. Um, so that was $113.56. Um, so that, that includes me and my mom. Okay, so it's not just me. I didn't just spend $113 on myself. Um, and that also included, I think it was a $20 tip. So because the tip was included into the total it, it didn't let you choose actually scratch that it did let you choose if you wanted to give a second tip based off the final uh, you know based off this 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 amount so I think my total ended up being like 80 88 dollars or something um, but then they added like twenty dollars in tips and but that was included into the price and then at the very end when they gave you my receipt to sign and see if I wanted to give a tip, it gave me another option for another tip. So another $20, which would be $40 tip. And I almost didn't notice until like I looked down and I was like, wait a second, they already included the tip. So otherwise I would have spent $40 on tips. And it's not that I don't tip, I don't like tipping or anything. It's just that they were asking me to tip double what I would, what I already tipped. So. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this was also an unexpected expense. We weren't going to go out to eat um, for my sister's birthday. It was just not in the in plans. Uh, and then we ended up going out to eat and then I ended up having to pay for my mom. So it was just a bunch of unexpected expenses. Um, so I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not paying an extra $20 in tip. I already did 20, we're good. <laughs> um, so yeah, a big spend day that day. Let's see, Thursday was a no spend day. Friday, I got some stuff off of Amazon. Um, pretty much what I got, um, some organization for my new nail polish. Obviously, I got a bunch of nail polish, but now I also need to figure out a way to organize it um, because I don't want my nephew to get into it as well. So 
I made sure that I bought some stuff for that. Um, I can't remember what else I bought. So on the 3rd, I went to take my brother-in-law to the airport. Um, I wasn't planning on getting gas because I had enough for driving around the area. But, you know, driving to the airport is about an hour away. So that ended up being $31.95. And the airport fee, which is a toll, is $2. I live in Texas. I live in North Dallas area. So I have there's a tollway. So the tollway, there's a toll going into the airport. So that's always that fee. It's 2 or $3 depending on how, much, how long you're in the airport. On the 4th, I had a no spend day on the 5th. So I mentioned this in my savings challenge stuffing video that I needed to, um, I was going to send some extra money to my cousin's wedding. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> and that was $100. I figured $100 would be fine. Um, okay, so next up is mom. So I just put mom um, and she wanted me to order something off from Amazon, which was $29.22. Um, and she ended up giving me some money to cover the cost, but I still have to uh, pay the the other half. She gave me $15, so I have to pay $14.22. Um, she gave me the cash, so I have it in my wallet, which is why I still left $29.22 versus $14.22. So I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, the 6th was no spend day. And then on the 7th, let's see, what did I do? Oh, DD, DoorDash. So I ordered some food off, off of DoorDash. And I tipped, and they usually round up just to make it even, so that was a total of $20. Um, and then I bought a bunch of stuff off of Carla Mae's page, uh, not Patreon, uh, sticker shop. Um, she has these new um, keychains, and I, I honestly immediately took them. I was like, here, I have extra money, here you go. <laughs> and then Steam. So I bought a, a bundle, okay? So I bought a video game bundle. The And it's technically a Steam bundle because all these are keys or uh, game keys or codes that you redeem on the Steam platform. And I bought it for $44.35. There was about 85 video games in this bundle. The total cost for this video game bundle, if you took each individual game and then look at indiv each individual cost, was $1,400. So I got $1,400 worth of video games for $44.35. And this money actually went to a charity. So, yay! <laughs> I usually do this. Um, I think I did this last year um, where I bought a bundle of video games. And I took, obviously, some of the ones that I wanted. And then I shared them with all my friends. And they all got two, three, or four uh, new, brand new games. Um as like kind of Christmas presents or just presents in general. Um, usually it depends what time of the year this bundle kind of happens, um, but that's kind of what I did. Um, I think last year I took it out of my Christmas bundle, my Christmas, my, not my Christmas bundle, my Christmas envelope, but this time I'm just gonna take it out of my video games bundle, bundle, envelope, oh my gosh. Um, because it, it, cause I did technically buy myself some games, not just for our friends. So I'm just going to take it out of my video games envelope. Um, okay, so that's all the expenses for this week. And that gives me one, two, three, no spend days. So, But I did spend quite a lot of money. So let's go into the spending tracker. Okay, so these are all the transactions. Um, I will say the one thing I forgot to mention was the, the $100 for my cousin's wedding. I gave it to my mom in cash because she was going to send money as well. So she just bought the, the money that she was going to send together. Um, it was just easier that way instead of doing multiple, uh, sending multiple amounts of money. And because we, ha she sends it to Western Union, um, so I think there's a small fee or something, but I just gave her $100. Okay, so these are all my transactions, um, the full price that I paid and what I'm going to be unstuffing, um, what category they're coming out of, and then the, what are kind of like a small descriptor just so I kind of know where, you know, what the expense was. And then if it was credit card, cash, or something like Zelle, um, things like that. So in total, I spent $548.69. That's a lot of money for one week. And then I need to install $449. Um, there's a difference because the $100 in cash that I already gave to my mom does not count. That's already been taken out of uh, the envelope. And then again, three no spend days. So let me get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my wallet. Um, yes, we're gonna start off with my wallet and I will be needing my rollover binder for this because I did spend quite a lot of money. 
Okay, so groceries, no money, gas. I did spend money out of gas, but there's no money in here. Spending. So spending, I need um, 51, 37, and then 70. 158. So I need a total of 158 for spending. And I believe I have 60 in here. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60. So there's $60 in here for spending. And then we're going to take out the rest from my rollover binder. So in total, I need, what did I say? 158? 150, yeah, 158. So let me just kind of put this together and just take out what I need. I think that might be a bit easier. So let me get rid of some of these ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's do that. So I need 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, and 45, and 50. Let me use a 10, actually. Okay, now we have this. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, perfect. I usually do leave change in my... Um, envelopes in these specific envelopes because um, I need to change sometimes so in total left over I have 20 40 60 oh, 20 40 60 80 90 95 100 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 121 so let me write that down So I'm going to try not to spend too much money in the next week, or at least personal, my personal spending. Um, I do have $121, so I could spend if I want to, but, you know, I, sp I bought a lot of stuff already. I think I'm okay. Um, okay, so, let's see, eating out. So that's spending. Eating out, I spent a total of 114 plus 20, so $134. So, if you watch my savings challenge video where I stuffed my savings challenges, I ended up adding $100 into my eating out because I knew this expense was coming. So, I need 134. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, this is 130. And I need four more dollars. Again, roll over. So, let's see. I need to take out just four dollars which is good because I was getting really excited that I was having money in my rollover for eating out but now I'm taking some okay so one two three four and I'm left with 22 so 10 15 20 21 22 okay I think I need one more t thing in my, in my rollover okay so let's count it all together so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, and 4. So 134. Okay, so let me mark off what I've done. So eating out, spending, spending, eating out, spending. Okay, so let's see. Let's do miscellaneous and then gas. So for miscellaneous, I need a total of 29 plus 2, so 31. So this is the $5, not $5, $15 that my mom gave me. And then I have the $10 that I usually have in here. So that should give me 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that means I need 5, 6, seven more dollars let's go to miscellaneous and we're going to take out seven dollars from here so minus seven so that is 22. so let's see five six and seven so 10 20 21 22. 
So I'm really happy that I did this rollover system because of expenses like this. I mean, I had a feeling that I was going to be spending a lot of money during December and November. And this just proves that I was, <laughs> I knew it. Like I knew myself. Usually during this time, my mom wants to do stuff, wants to go see lights. Um, you know, it's also my sister's birthday, my nephew's birthday, my mom's birthday, my brother's birthday, and then obviously the holidays and just a lot of stuff. Okay, so I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, and 32. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I just need two. Oh my gosh. I just need 31. What am I doing? 29 plus 2 is 31. So I just need one. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31. Okay. Let me put that one back. Give me one moment. Okay, so. Oh. That is the miscellaneous. And now I just need. Now I just need gas. And I didn't actually stuff my gas um, cash envelope in my wallet because, I, again, I didn't think I was going to be using. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I didn't think I was going to go and get gas because I wasn't going to be driving. But obviously now I, I, I realized I was wrong. So <laughs> eight I'm stuffing and I need to take out $32. So that should leave me with $52 in my gas backup. So 20, 30, 31, and 32. So that should leave me with 20, 40, 50, 51, 52. And then I have 20, 30, 31, 32. Going back to the bank. Okay, so I think now we're done with this binder. Oh, I took a lot of money out of that roll out, rollover, um, but that's what it's there for. Okay, so next up is, let's see, occasions and then video games and YouTube. So let's do occasions. Oh wait, not occasions. I already took the money out of occasions. Here, I'll show you guys. So, right here. I took it out, but I didn't actually write it in. So 12, 8 minus 100 leaves me with two dollars so i have two dollars in here so there we go um and then i believe this week or maybe next week we're going to be going and doing some um going to see more christmas lights and possibly taking my nephew to see santa claus so some of the family money my family envelope money is going to get depleted as well so hopefully it's not too expensive. Um, okay, so video games and YouTube. All right, YouTube. Here we are. We need to take out a total of $50. So minus 50 gives me 50. So usually mode terms are about like 50, 50 to $60 uh, plus tax and everything else. But I did have like a five or ten dollar um, gift card, so that actually worked really well. Um, you know what? I'm gonna leave more of the fives. Oh, I can't leave the fives, can I? No, I can't. Um, I'm put in sixty and take out a ten. That's what I'm gonna do. I want to have some change because I will be giving out a gift card, obviously, but I also need to have changed because I will be shipping the Moterm uh, out to the giveaway winner and I want to make sure I have some change in case it's you know just 10 or 15 dollars I don't know I don't know I haven't shipped a package in a while so I don't remember what the prizes are but that's it for YouTube for now it's gonna get used again next week but that's okay and then video games I need to take out a total of 40 44 dollars so minus 44 uh, she leave me with twenty six dollars or twenty yeah twenty six so I need to take out forty four so twenty forty forty one two three and four so that leaves me with twenty twenty five and twenty six so there we go forty and four yep leaves me with twenty six which is correct. 
Alrighty. That is all the expenses, I believe. Let's see. Gas. Um, occasional was done. Video games. Yeah, okay. So this should all be $449. Oh my god. Look at all this money coming out. Alright, let's count. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 4. So that's 400. So this should be 49, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Four. 49 I, I will say I took a good amount of ones out okay so $449 is gonna go back to my account and I'm gonna pay off my credit card and then we're back at zero no interest and I get the rewards okay so now that that's done we're gonna go over who the giveaway winners are so let me say um let me just start off by saying thank you thank you to everyone that entered there was a total of about 50 50 um entries into the giveaway it was actually really fun to read everyone's favorite gift or best gift they've ever received um it went from someone saying just money to a bike to a teddy bear to something like a weekend vacation um someone said something about um their grandma's like uh jewelry that was passed down and that was one of their favorite gifts ever um so there was just a lot of different a lot of different answers and I, it was really fun reading all of them. So thank you guys for everyone that entered. Um, so the majority, majority of you actually entered for the second prize and then only a handful of you entered for the actual mo term, which is fine because that gives those people a higher chance to win the mo term compared to, you know, just overall 50. Now I think it was like five or six that entered to the actual mo term. So good luck to you guys. Okay, so for the second prize winner, um, you will be getting a $25 gift card to either Amazon, Target, Etsy, or a $25 cash app. So it's one of those. So the winner is Call Me Hey. So um, she said that her her the best gift she's ever received was her dream shoes i don't know what her dream shoes are i would like to know if you if you want to put it in your comment go ahead um, um please reach out to me either on instagram or my email i will be leaving my email down in the description down below and then i will verify that it is you who is redeeming the prize i know there's a lot of scammers out there so i want to make sure that you're getting the 25 dollar uh gift card and not just someone else who pretended to be you okay so so DM me on Instagram, which is linked down below, and then, or uh, send me an email in my in my email that's also linked down below. Okay, so drum roll, <laughs> the first prize winner out of like six possible winners is Kathy's cashing coin. Okay, so I thought this was really funny that she won, mostly because I just well yesterday I received her happy mail. She sent me, oh, I haven't even opened it. She sent me something, which was going to be part of my Happy Mail video that I mentioned at the very beginning. Um, so she asked me if I, had a, if I had a P.O. box, and I don't. Um, I've been wanting to get one, I just haven't had the chance to. And she sent me, um, she sent me Happy Mail to my regular address. And I was really excited. And then when I picked the winners earlier today and I saw her win, I was just like, really? That's a big coincidence. I mean, obviously there was a, not that many people who entered for the first prize, but still I was like, she she won it. I, I'm actually kind of excited that you won it. So congratulations, Kathy. Um, I'll be sending you a whole package. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully it, it arrives before Christmas. I will be sending it out this weekend. So hopefully it arrives before Christmas. So congratulations. All right guys, well, thank you everyone for watching this video. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!